Lucky Boys Podcast. All right. So in 10 years, do you think XRP is here to stay? I think it'll still be here. Okay. In terms of value, Will I'm not sure. Will it be sure. worth more or less than a dollar? I'm going to say less. Wow. Yeah. Called it, guys. Woo. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Bitcoin, Ethereum. Bitcoin, do you think more or less than 10,000 in 10 years? I think more. Ethereum, think more or less than 300. More. I don't think Bitcoin is going to be a million, though. Dollars a coin. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a million. Um, that's a pretty far-fetched number, but I do think we have the potential of hitting 50, 100. Oh, absolutely. I yeah. agree with that. I disagree with XRP, though. <laughs> I, I, I believe that they, if they playing ball with the government that's the yeah. right move like if i'm doing business with anyone mm -hmm. i would want to make sure that it's regulated that mm -hmm. we're in, that somebody is not going to step in and say you can't do that and then all that hard work is for not yeah. you know or you're going to have to find another way of transacting now i have to pivot to somewhere else so i don't know i would definitely want to follow the rules i don't want to break them when it comes to that right the, yeah the government I, i'm right. not going to f with them you yeah the, the money wise the, yeah the, the crypto story is, is still it's still ongoing it's it's, yeah. it's not it's not ending anytime soon. Yeah. Yep. How about so. all right, Cardano? Oh, um, I hear mixed stuff with that too. So yeah, in my opinion, I'm not really sure uh, what's going to happen with that. They were like, they're, 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 I heard rumors that it could replace Ethereum. It was very similar yeah. to it, and um, it's going to be faster, better. It's yeah. Ethereum 2.0, so to speak. I'm not I'm not really sure where we're going to see that. Um, okay. We we always categorize. Tron, XRP, um, ADA, all in, Cardano, all in the same category. The because same they were the okay. big caps, one of the first ones. Um, oh, not really sure where that's going to end up. Okay. Yeah. Um, Link. I think Link is going to do very well. Okay. Yeah. And it's actually already done extremely well. Okay. Um, just recently broke an all-time high. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy in this market too. Yeah. Um, what other ones? Do I mean, Litecoin. Uh, uh, yeah, Litecoin? You like Litecoin? I feel like it's. I mean, the, yeah. the person, if the if the if the owner or one of the top people sold sold all, everything, yeah. To me, that that immediately puts it to shitcoin territory. Yeah. Just my personal suspect. opinion. Yeah, I suspect. You know that just to me, if he's dumping everything. He's yeah. saying it, it's not worth shit, bitch. You know, or later on, it's not going to worth shit. That that's you know, action speaks louder than words to me. So mm -hmm. it's what they did, and he, if he's the, the the founder and he sold everything to me, it's just right. tells me everything I need to know. Yeah. Um. What other uh, Monero? Monero, interesting. Um, see, that's one of the the coins that will probably still stick around for a while um, because that's what most drug dealers use right? for, <laughs> for, for real? privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah XMR yeah. is is what's really used on the dark web. <laughs> wow. Um, why why a, that and not privacy? Any, it's any... a complete privacy coin. Okay. So it's you can't track it. It's not traceable. Mm -hmm. um, immutable. Everything that. That really defines it. Mm -hmm. So that's what people typically use. Also um, to launder money, right? Yeah. I actually, you know, I found out about crypto first back in 2014 because I was, the whole Silk Road thing came up. Mm -hmm. and I was like, what is this? So I looked into mm -hmm. it and I found out people paid in Bitcoin and XMR. I was like, oh. what the hell is a Bitcoin? Yeah. I was yeah. like, all right. So Coinbase was already out by that time. So I just decided to buy three of them for $200 each. Oh. Back in 2014. What, Bitcoin? Yeah. <sighs> And I sold it three months later. <laughs> oh, so you know about the mis yeah. Yeah. selling too early. Yeah, because I oh. sold it because I, I didn't do my due diligence on it. I didn't research it. Right. I didn't, all I knew is that people used it. You're not hearing about it. I know so many yeah. people that sold Bitcoin in, in its infancy. Well, too yeah. They didn't yeah. sell it at, not not everybody sold at 20,000. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. wasn't until 2017 when Ethereum started blowing up. That's when I started getting back into crypto again. Mm -hmm. I had deleted Coinbase. I deleted all of that oh um, my gosh. back in 2014. So I never bothered to look at it until I started seeing news coming up about Ethereum. Wow. Yo, we live in such a fucking exciting time. It is. I know, yeah, Everything it is. is changing. So, yeah. you know, you, you have to embrace it. It's scary because there's so many unknowns, but you have to embrace it.